In this video, we're going to carefully multiply two cycles in the symmetric group of degree 7, so in S sub 7. Solution. First, just for clarity, notice that the number 7 is missing over here. So 7 is actually fixed. What that means is that 7 is just going to 7. Nothing is happening to the 7 here. It just gets sent right back to itself. Let's go ahead and work this out. So we can start with any number we like. Let's start with the number 1. And the multiplication is performed right to left. So we have to look over here first. So we look at the 1, and 1 goes to 2. And then you look over here and you say, OK, well, where does 2 go? Well, 2 goes to 4. So that means that 1 goes to 4. Again, 1 goes to 2, but then 2 goes to 4. So 1 goes to 4. Now we look at the 4. 4 goes to 5. But then 5, it goes back to 1. So 4 goes to 1, so we close the parentheses. Whenever this number ends up going back to this one, we close it. OK, let's pick another number now. How about 2? So parentheses 2. 2 goes to 4. But then 4 goes to 6. So 2 goes to 6. And now we go to 6. 6 goes to 3 but then 3 goes to 2. So 6 goes to 2. Oh, look at that. We close it. OK, we have two transpositions. Transpositions are two cycles. So, so far we have two of them. Let's try 3. So parentheses 3. 3 goes to 1. And then 1 goes to 3. So it looks like 3 goes to 3. So we close the parentheses. The only number we haven't checked, well, there's two we haven't checked. We have 1, 4, 2, 6, 3. We still have 5 and 7. Let's go ahead and do 5. So 5. 5 goes to 6, but then 6 goes to 7, so 5 goes to 7. And then 7 goes to 7, but then 7 goes to 5. So 7 goes back to 5, so we close this. So that's it. We can eliminate the 3 from our answer because 3 is fixed in the result. So this is 1, 4, 2, 6, 5, 7. And that's it. I hope that made sense.